Hello and welcome back to another video from 55 degrees north. Today I'm done with the iconic Tyne Bridge for your November update on how the bridge's four year, 40 million pound restoration project is going. It's been one of the North East's biggest engineering challenges and there's a lot happening this month. Let's dive in. Over the next few weeks, work is switching over to the East Footway and that means overnight closures of the Tyne Bridge on weekdays so crews can install the next major section of scaffolding. This scaffold, known as Up and Overs, will stretch from the underside of the bridge deck right up the side and over the parapet. It's all to prepare for the big repair and repaint works coming next year. Once the next phase is in place, a temporary scaffold footway will be built, allowing pedestrians to keep using the bridge safely while restoration continues. It will look like the walkway you see on the west side now, just without the full white wrapping. Instead, it will have metal sheeting and artificial lighting for extra safety. And here's the good news. All this has been done overnight to minimise disruption, keeping the bridge open for drivers and cyclists and anyone crossing on foot during the day. Looking ahead, people will start using the East Footway in early 26 when restoration shifts to the opposite side of the bridge's parapet and screen plates and once that's complete the scaffolding will come down paving way for the next huge stage building the safety deck scaffolding above the bridge deck ready for work to begin on the arch itself that's going to be a massive milestone for this project a major phase of the restoration above Newcastle Quayside has just been completed here's what's been happening behind the scenes almost a hundred years of old paint has been stripped away over 350 steel repairs made and 1,200 rivets replaced and a specialist free coat paint system applied built to protect the bridge for at least the next 30 years. This milestone means about 25% of the bridge has now been fully repaired and repainted. A huge step forward in preserving one of the North East's most iconic landmarks. You will actually see the difference when the scaffolding around the Newcastle Tower comes down giving passers-by their first glimpse of the incredible craftsmanship underneath. The underside of the main deck has also been restored and will get its grand reveal next year once the parapet work wraps up. So that's your 2025 November update from the Tyne Bridge. Work is progressing steadily and every month we're getting closer to seeing this beautiful bridge fully restored to its former glory. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the restoration so far and what part of the project you most look forward to seeing completed. If you've liked this video please give it a massive thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow and if you've not already done so please consider subscribing to 55 degrees north and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any more videos. A massive thank you for watching I will see you next time right here on 55 degrees north.